terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by Knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. Painted. Old school Chevy, God rain down blessings, that broke the levy, uh, on my Libra scales, tissue, these streets is heavy, uh, young Smokey prevailed, came from speakeasy to breathing weekly on beats, and now he be eating with kings in every city, I just can't get enough, do it to the shit, look, hit it up, get it up, show up at the club, we'll hit it up, leaving us some love in the mini bus. you ain't got a front when you really up, yeah. Kneeled and prayed that I would see the days look just like right now. Now we just can't pipe down. This is life. They can't hold me down. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. And we are live and underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Nice kick. Oh, good block there. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not... Oh, trouble now. That was Ken Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, big left hook there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now it's a point of fact. Blood. Power shots landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, nice hook. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? Oh, that's the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful lever change, making things going forward right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. 
And back to his feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 15 seconds. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Right. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's stop. the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, round two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And look at the post on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you got to be careful now because as it bleeds, you got to worry about the blood going into the eye. Now it's time to start being on high alert. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in this. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Mm, nice. This is where he wants to be. Under three minutes to go here in round two. Getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Oh, heavy shots raining down. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, you know the, the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Under 90 seconds to go. Nice jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, you land that land. Is that what we're doing here? All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landing. He continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that, that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. Ready to fight. He's got to get out of the way Ready. more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level sports. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his... Oh! What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. Oh, yeah! He's got him here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, DC kind of just played with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the cut throughout. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart up, great timing on that double leg. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his right shots, there. clean entries. Right the Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the Yeah, it was only a matter of time. You see the referee pausing the action here. They're going to call in the doctor to look at this cut. Might be the beginning of the end here. I mean, blood all over his face. He's been beat up, battered and bruised. He still wants to fight. Yeah. As Michael Bisping might say, we have a cheeky situation here, <laughs> but it looks as though the fight will continue, at least for now. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on the Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Landon strikes nicely here from top position. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. Straight connection right up the gut. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28, Pantera. Judge two scores it, 9-28, Assassin. And judge three scores it, 9-28, for the winner by split decision, Assassin! All right, so there it is. Two of the three judges saw it his way. He gets it done by split decision. You've never won a split decision here. Oh, I've won a split decision. Alexander Gustafson and why I went to a split decision. Right after the first scorecard was read in his way, I almost panicked because I was like, oh my goodness, it's over. So I understand exactly what these two guys are feeling when they went to the center of the octagon.